Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I wanted to do something new today and kind of do a behind the scenes deep dive into one aspect of my creative process for writing. So um, there's lots of ways of writing a song. Sometimes it starts with an acoustic guitar. Sometimes it starts with a piano. Sometimes it starts with lyrics. Sometimes it starts with a melody. It's all sorts of different ideas. Um, but one of the ways I've been working on creating um, in the last few months, year or so, has been in a, a program called Ableton. And Ableton allows you to create with scenes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of break down how this song came to be. Um, I just finished writing it a few minutes ago. And while it's fresh in my head, kind of explain the process and we'll see if this is interesting to you guys. Um, okay. So I started here in Ableton. This is Ableton. Um, and Ableton has a couple of different views. It's got a linear view and it's got this thing called a, s a session view where you can create clips. So the first thing that started this song is I had this particular idea here. Let me, uh, just solo this and just take a listen if this one clip will play. I don't know if you can hear this. It's this. So it's some bassoons doing this. Boom, 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 boom. So I had this idea. And then I wanted to add in a bass part, so I recorded this bass part here. Uh, let's see, let's kick those two together. Oh, it's not solo, let me solo it here. So I put those two together. And then I had this idea here for this, uh, stop these two for this piano part, sitting on top of that. So these, these are these little parts that are coming together. And then I found this little drum loop on a program called S uh, Splice. And it goes... Well, I heavily edited it here because it's got it's got some pretty steep EQ uh, done on it. But so this is like a boop boop. I wanted this sort of boopy kind of bloopy sound in the background. So anyway, I put this together, and then I came up with another part for um, what turns out on this song to be a bit of a pre-chorus. This is another set of chords that I uh, started on again, for, same process moving. Uh, pretty much left to right across uh, the screen here. I put together some chords here. Let me solo this one and play these. This is sort of this nice build. Um, and I, I would call this like a pre-chorus or it's part of the chorus. And the hook uh, comes back in on the main chord structure. And then I came up with a um, a bridge part, which I would play that here. This is what I would call a bridge. This is like a sort of descending chords. And, and at the time, none of these were, I didn't think so much bridge or chorus. I just came up with like different ideas and then played them all along here and, and filled this out. So then I created a template here. Let me turn this off. And this is what a project starts to look like. So all those little sections get transferred into here. So this is the, the beginning idea. Here's the chorus idea. Here's that bridge idea, which I actually wound up cutting in half and repeating. Here's that electrical piano part, which there's another part that I put over that, what I would probably call the chorus or pre-chorus section, and a different idea that I put over here for the, uh, for the bridge. And then I recorded these bass sections as well. Those are all 
back here in these scene views right here. I called it chunk bass because I'm just sort of chugging along. And this is a, a little melody, top line melody I added in that I actually wound up playing on the bass. This is that drum loop, which is just pretty constant right now. I'll probably do some heavy editing once this is going to final. And then I had some ideas for some sounds in the bridge and the chorus going out. This is like a, let me solo this real quick. These are some little pads. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, but I wanted them to be organic. Originally the idea, this is the original idea, was with the vocal. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I'm singing it. Uh, this is actual audio I recorded. This is a, a MIDI uh, pad that's built into the program Ableton. And then this is this is where it kind of gets interesting. So I put all of this together. This track here is this is just me mumble singing. So I put this track together and it sounded cool and I had this idea lyrically. So let me take you over here to the pad of paper, which is where most of these things start. And I had this idea. So let me tell you how I love you. That's That was the core of what I wanted with this song. And I was having a hard time coming up with um, a solid narrative for how I wanted this song to go. And you can see here, there's a lot of scratch outs and ideas. I feel like we can make it. There's some concepts I wanted. So what I did is I actually wrote a little story. Um, and that little story didn't really help, but it got the words flowing. It got some ideas moving. And then I came in and I just sang, I mumble sang this, which is, let me turn everything off, but this, this is just me singing the melody and trying to get an idea of ideas popping through. Let me see if I can turn this up so you can hear it. These are not words. So I do this through the whole song, um, and I sort of develop what the melody is going to be and, and, and what the phrasing is going to be, but these aren't real words. And then I get back here, here's the bridge. So there's this melody and structure has been created and there's uh everything is in here it's ready for a song i have everything put together now i just sort of have to translate these words uh these melodies and, and phrases into words so at this point i'm writing faster than i can handle with a pen on a piece of paper so i switch over here to my trusty little ipad and i just start typing furiously and then i clean it up and then I go through and make what's called a scratch vocal. So I haven't done the final vocals on this, but this goes from weird sort of mumble singing to... The song comes together. So this song is not done. It's, you know, the concepts are all there. The things are kind of in the right place. I'm going to have to sing it uh, for real, where I'm not just sort of flying through and trying to make sure I'm getting all the ideas as fast as I can get them done. If you look on that uh, video, you can see there's all these little cuts. That's me changing a word or changing a phrase and trying to get it right. Then I'll use that sketch, what's called the scratch vocal. I'll use that scratch vocal as a, a point of reference when I actually go and do, do sing the song. So anyway, that's kind of how my process works working in Ableton. Not always this way, but uh, it's something that this particular 
piece of software allows for in the creativity. Those things where you have an idea, like in the, in the um, bridge on this tune, I had a chordal idea, and then I realized that halfway through it needed to be a little longer. I, I wasn't able to say musically what I wanted to say in that short thing, so I, I started back over. It happens really quickly and really fluidly, and I'm able to kind of create the bones of a song, and then you're writing to something that's more than just an acoustic guitar or piano, which is a great way to write, but this lets you... Um, really kind of dive into the sounds quickly. And I really think it influences how the song comes out. So once this song is done, I'm sure it'll be posted up here as one of my uh, Patreon monthly songs. Uh, who knows, might make a record, might make it on a TV show, who knows. But this is a, um, this is just a snapshot into one aspect of the creative process. And the creative process, mainly when I'm by myself, um, when I'm working with other people, we tend to be on instruments more or, or um, creating in different ways. But I hope this is exciting or interesting, enjoyable. Uh, I really thank you guys for your support. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions about sort of the creative process or what's going on. Uh, I didn't really dive into the gear I'm using here. But if you have questions about that, any of it, I um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks, guys.